So this is the first part of the demonstration for adding color to your nine variations. What you'll want to do is let's take a look and we're just going to focus on the square that is the last one. And the last one uh, is the one that we've done ninth. And you'll want to make sure that um, it's the one that has the most shapes, the one that has the most lines. And if you have any pencil marks, take an eraser and erase all of them. You also want to make sure that your lines and shapes are enclosed. Uh, if there is an open area, what could potentially happen is when we do fill it in with color, uh, the color could spill out into the next area and fall. So you want to make sure that everything is nice and tight. Once you have uh, finished that, then you're going to use your phone and you are going to take a picture of the ninth square. When you take a picture of it, uh, make sure that your phone is directly over the paper. You don't want it to be at a slant. Um, otherwise, it will lose its proportion. And you also want to make sure that you're getting in as tight as you can. We do like the square edge, um, but um, you, and you also don't want to get too close so that it's blurry. Um, and then what you can do is if you need to, you can crop it on your phone. And then you're going to uh, also, if you know how to do it on your phone, you certainly can. But let's make sure that it is light um, and black and white. So in the area of color, you want to move the saturation so that it is black and white. You can do this in Google Photos or you can also do it on your phone. And then in the areas of light, you want to increase the exposure so that it's not dark. And then also increase the contrast so that the whites get lighter and the darks get darker. This is part one and now you'll want to go on to the video for part two.